Hey guys, Sean Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of... A new blind playthrough of Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. I wanted to skip the title screen real real fast because they are playing uh, one of the songs from Space Jam. And I figure I'm going to get copyright claimed by playing this game eventually. But, uh, you know, I don't want to do it in the first six seconds. So this is a... I don't even know. It's a parody game created by Tale of Games back in 2008. It is a freeware game, so you can go find it online and download it for free. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. But if for whatever reason I'm, uh, I forget, you can just Google it. It's pretty easy to get. Uh, and apparently this is billed as a sequel to both Space Jam and Barkley Shut Up and Jam, which was a, I believe a Sega Genesis game? That was just a basketball game, kind of like NBA Jam. So, warning, the game you're about to play is canon. The year is 2053. Basketball is dead. Basketball is dead. Oh, no. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If it is not your first time to my channel, welcome back. This is Manny behind me. He's the, uh, he's the true genius behind this channel. <laughs> okay. In 2041, basketball was made illegal, and almost all b-ballers were massacred in what is now known as the Great B-Ball Purge. I lived, but lost my reason for living. B-Ball was gone. How old would he be at this point? Like, 80? In 2041, I mean. Post-cyber apocalyptic ruins of Neo New York. Dad, Dad, watch this! What am I... What am I watching here? Balthios, impressive hoops. Your dribbling has gotten much better in the past few weeks. Right, Dad? I've gotten better, huh, Dad? Dad? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you've gotten a lot better, son. So did they change to that other sprite so they could make it dribble? I don't know if that's intentional or if that's... parody or, or what? I don't know. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing, Hoops. I was just, just thinking. Hmm. Think about B-Ball, huh? Yeah, that's it. I was thinking about B-Ball. Hoops, why don't you go play some VidCons? I want to speak to Mr. James for a moment. Sure, Dad. Thanks for the dribbling tips and wall scrolls, Mr. James. No sweat, kid. Keep on practicing, though. Sure will. You were thinking about her again, weren't you, Charles? Hmm? Maureen. You were thinking about Maureen, weren't you? He reminds me so much of her. The way he moves, his enthusiasm for the game, his eyes. You still blame yourself for what happened. Yeah, Balthios. I do. Yeah, I do. And it won't happen ever again. I... I just can't stand knowing that all of this, everything, could be different. Barkley, you don't need to... Yeah, Balthios, I know, but I swear in her grave that nobody will ever suffer a Chaos Dunk again. I haven't seen Space Jam, so I don't know. Was Charles Barkley in that? I know... I mean, it was Michael Jordan, right? But I don't, I don't know if there were other basketball players that were in it. Neo New York is a 
this disgusting city. So it's basically regular New York? With strong will of the weak for what few leadership is they get. Ruffian one, hand over the Neo Shekels! Bum, but I need them to buy food. Give me him. <laughs> Oof. Ah ha ha ha. Come on, bro. Let's get some chups. No, my Neo Shekels. Television. Breaking news just in. A killing spree has been reported. The cloaked Octoroon known only as Ultimate Hellbane, has struck again, this time killing two men in the New New York, Neo New York Mall and NY Mall. Police reported signs of Zauber use, and Ultimate Hellbane is believed to have connections with the terrorist organization Blood Moses. Crime everywhere. Oh, they even made his mouth move. That's, that's nice. This city's going to hell. Hoops, I don't want you going outside tonight. Aw, oh, Dad. I... I must take my leave now. So who is Balthios actually? Is he... I mean, obviously they put the hair over him, but... Well, I don't... I don't know that many basketball players, to be honest, so... Bye, Mr. James. Probably LeBron James. Good... Goodbye, hoops. Oh, he's gonna go get killed, isn't he? Mr. Jordan? Yep. <laughs> Mr. James. Jordan, what are you doing here? I thought Barkley was the only one that survived. That's a nice way to greet a friend, Charles. Heh. I was just in the neighborhood and I thought I heard some dribbling. You have absolutely no grounds to come into this house, Michael. You know that. Really now. You were an all-star all -star baller, and I heard dribbling. I have every right to come in thanks to the B-Ball Confiscation Act. Or are you saying I don't have that right? Oh, so Jordan's the bad guy, huh? I'm saying you're a son of a bitch, Jordan. Ha ha ha, I'll play your game, Barkley. This time. Oh, and hoops. Yeah? Keep practicing. Hoops, I'm going out to get some medicine. Okay, Dad. You okay, Dad? Yeah, Hoops, I'm gonna be okay. Do I do I move now? I do. All right, cool. Hey, Dad, you okay? You're looking kind of pale. He knows. He knows about the dribbling. All Hoops does is play vidcons on this computer machine. He should be busy working on his jump shot. Oh wait, basketball was banned. Sometimes, sometimes I forget. All right. This is Hoops' bed. I sleep on the couch. That's nice. Okay, good. There's three buttons, kind of like the Genesis. Equip item and quit. We don't want to quit. No items. Leave the post cyber apocalypse. The uh, cyber apocalypse. Change equipment, view status, and skills. Uh, let's see. Arm is soccer ball. Rags. His bling is Maureen's ring. Level one slams master. Armor class threads. Skills double team. Cool. All right. Well, let's check. We oh, we can run. There's a cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a copy of my book. Who's afraid of a big black man? I wrote it back before the great b-ball purge. My collection of CDs. At least jazz hasn't been outlawed yet. 
so are we going to have to run from stuff? Because there's a stamina meter, otherwise they just let you go, you know, anywhere. Or run constantly. Not much in here, but a half a carton of simulated milk and some expired protein paste. Hmm, let's see what's cooking in the oven. A delicious ecto-cooler. Got one, ecto-coolers. Also, I was looking around at the options earlier, and you can actually change the language to Albed. Like from Final Fantasy X, which is kind of weird. And what does apply liberally to wounds? Single VP plus 66%? Vitality points? Apartment foyer. How do we save? Gus, I heard you guys yelling. I heard you yelling at Inspector Jordan upstairs, Barkley. That son of a bitch. He was the first baller to join the B ball removal department. Did it just to save his own skin. He's changed, man. I remember when kids looked up to him. He's become a monster. Maybe. Maybe I've become the monster. What was that? Nothing, Gus. Nothing. Hmm. It's locked. It's just the maintenance closet. Well, let's run back into the apartment and see Barkley's apartment. Um, all right. Anything? Hmm. Well, I guess we've we haven't gone too far, so we could probably just go forward without being super worried. Okay, that's presumably a monster over there. Supercharge you weapon. Enhanced size and ability. Never let your friends, family down. Incredible German technology in action. I'll have to look into this. Bomb spare a Neo Shekel. <sighs> You heard the man. Get a job. Or is that a save point? I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Pump. Ah, console video games, or vidcons as I call them. The ultimate medium of expression, able to convey any emotion ranging from hatred to love, loyalty to fear, all in front of our eyes. Ah, and with lovingly crafted art, music, and the ability to control the action, vidcons are the ultimate combination of the high arts. While I tend to play solo, the stoic, I'll be the first to admit that vidcons have driven me to cry, to scream and shout, to feel actual hate, such as the power of this force beyond our wildest reckoning. And here I am before you to tempt your tongues with the taint of such a tantalizing topic. And the Japanese, the true geniuses behind the world of video games. Pa, I throw my scorn upon such incompetents of the West who would mock the true art of the Japanese with games, such as Baldur's Gate and Madden. Perhaps it is that the West is not as intelligent as the East, but this is a matter for another day. Japan has given us such masterpieces as the Final Fantasy series, Star Ocean, Wild Arms, and of course, Ark the Lad. Yes, some of the finest vid finest vidcons in the world were created by the Japanese. I come to you today to ask you in all earnesty, what is your favorite vidcon? I will reveal mine after the grand debate has illustri illustriously begun, but not before the first poster falls victim to my plot of discussion. The pump is the save point. Got it. I assume that's money? Under the clock? I don't, I don't know what that is. Points? Score? Well, now we know how to save. And what is this? Is this a person? A soldier. Move along, citizen. Well, when you ever, ever hear about the Chaos Dunk, they say it's as powerful as 150 megaton nuclear blast, and the only man ever capable of performing it was Charles Barkley. It's the reason basketball was banned. There you go. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. They say we're supposed to be worried about the ultimate hellbane, but I think Charles Barkley is the real menace. I never understood why they didn't finish him off in the Great B-Ball Purge. 
Probably so he could live the rest of his life in guilt and shame. Wow. Ah, okay. Buy Square Enix Goya today. I don't know what Goya is. Isn't it a food? It's like a food brand or something. All right. Chin, chin. This dude. Chin, hey Barku, hey a uh, Barkery. Oh, I get it. You hear about that ultimate Hellbane, the guy that killed all those people? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, he one tough customer out here. Uses zobbers. Kind of makes you wonder how Blood Moses got their hands on such powerful weapons. Yeah, didn't you just kill those two guys at the mall? Yeah, yeah, they see he out for more tonight. That's why I always carry my Square Enix Goya gun. Can't be safe around here no more. Top of the line, too. So why are you here so, so late, Barkery? What you want? I'm not feeling so well. I need some medicine. Uh, I all out of medicine, Barkery, but I give you this ecto cooler. Make you feel better, huh? Yeah, thanks a lot, Shin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, and Barkery. Yeah? Don't let that ultimate hellbane get you. Got five ecto coolers. Cool. Got three steroids. Two tobaccos. And... Single... Cures all status ailments and negative stat mods. And... Steroids revive you. This is weird. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is weird. Okay, how much farther can we go? Do we want to go farther? Oh, I'm out of uh, stamina. Let's talk to this dude, I guess. Street tough. Hey, you want some ecto cooler? I got the best shit there is. Don't trust none of them other guys. 35 neo shekels. That's the best I can do. Um. Buy ecto cooler. Single. Wait, why is this one? Come by any time, my man. Uh, it's different. This stuff is life, basically. Plus, two, it heals two-thirds of your life. That stuff did, like, 20%. You look like you need to hit some chups. I got the cheapest stuff in town. What's a chup? Single cure glaucoma. A homegrown chup helps with the glaucomas. I don't know what this is. Man, this parking lot, they say it used to be a basketball court. There must have been a site. People playing b-ball in public. Pretty wild, huh? You've got no idea. Before the great b-ball purge, this place would be packed. Fans on the sidelines, ballers playing pickup games till dusk. Hell, sometimes they'd have games going until they shut the lights off, even after. It was a different time, a diff... Whoa, pal, I'm gonna stop you right there. I ain't no sport lover, and I don't like where this conversation's headed. There's cops around, and you don't know who's listening. Beat it before you say something we're both gonna regret. Wow, this... Yeah. Man, you ever been to Jickleburg? All the chicken fries you could want, it's all legal. Thing is, the list for passports out of this shithole is backed up for years. I'll probably be dead before my name comes up. It's a damn shame, you know that? And the women there, man, I've heard some stories you wouldn't believe. God damn it, man, look where you got me going. I need a chicken fry to take my mind off this. I'll be alright as long as I got my babies. As long as I got my chicken fries. What's this thing next to him? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well... I thought it was like a manhole, but I don't know if we can go there yet. You wouldn't know from the way I look, but I used to be a Square Enix Goya executive. I disagreed with the new aggressive marketing campaign and they took it all away. My house, my car, my family. Now look at me, a lousy bum on the street. Spare me, chump. The post-cyber apocalyptus... Apocalypse? I was gonna say apocalyptic... whatever. Has spelled tough times for everyone. Everyone's got a sob story, and tell me yours ain't gonna do a damn thing. Whatever. You know that? You're just like those pigs at Square Enix Goya, concerned only with themselves and their own wallets. Please help me, just one more chicken fry. Pusher man. Hey man, I got the shit you need, just take a look. I see, all this stuff will... Okay. By volleyball, jersey, bapes. 
so it's probably, you know, a weapon. The jersey's probably uh, armor, and all the rest of these are probably... Um, get out of here, man. Probably um, accessories, I guess. All right. Okay, don't think I can go in there. I can't. What about down here? I love all the, the smoke. Okay, I can't click on it or anything. Do I go back? Do I go forward? Let's try going forward a little bit. Kid, what are you doing out here at night? You should be at home. Kid, can you hear me? You should be at home. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, kid. Give the kid a Neo Shekel. Yeah. Get something to eat, kid. So the kid is... I don't know. Oh, what is this? It's so cold out here. What are you doing outside, man? The church is right there. They've got a heater. Go on in. Yeah, I know. I was just in there. I just... I hate spending all day in there, you know? I feel like a fucking leech. I just got no place else to go. There's some guys that sleep in there. I can't do that. Yeah, I hate the cold. Just every minute I spend in there, I feel more useless. Heh, <laughs> I know I must sound like a fool. Hey, it ain't my problem. Do what you want. All right. I guess I'll see ya. Hmm. Church of Clispeth. Clispeth? Wrinkled woman. The other side's warmer. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, the heating ducts are on the other side. Oh, she's like, go over there. Get away from me. I mean, the heating ducts are on the other side. Nowadays, the only reason people come in here is to get away from the cold, it seems. Definitely not for the teachings of Clispeth, at any rate. Sometimes I feel like the last believer on Earth. If only they would let him into their hearts. What do you think, son? About what? Clispeth? I couldn't care less. This rotten city is hell enough to deal with. I don't got the time to worry about another one waiting for me down the road. I got a son to take care of. I look out for him. I don't got the time to give a damn about your god. That's... that's blasphemy. Clispeth is a loving god, I assure you, but I still think it unwise to tempt his wrath. And so be it. If Clispeth exists, he's already taken enough from me. I'd like to see him try for any more. Oh, that's no good. You don't tempt the fates. This is B-Ball. Priest Charles, I, uh, I haven't seen in you in here since the... Yeah, Larry, that was a long time ago. Oh, Larry Bird. I don't know what to tell you, Charles. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. I don't need your goddamn pity, Larry. Acting like you give a damn just because you're a priest now. You don't know shit about what happened. You've got no business acting all buddy-buddy just because we used to be friends. Shit's changed, Bird. This ain't the golden age of b-ball anymore. You, more than anyone, should know this. You think I sold out, Barkley? You think I sold out because I'm not absolutely miserable like you. You got no place to say that shit, Bird. You think it's fucking easy to raise a kid of my own? You think it's easy to be alone now when I need Maureen more than ever, Bird? Charles, keep your voice down. This is the house of God. You know damn well it was my fault, Larry. You know all this shit is my fault and you got no place to say otherwise. God damn it, man. Why'd you come here, Charles? You didn't come here for this. I, I don't know, Larry. I just kind of wandered in here. Maybe I was thinking about her. I don't know. She was a woman of Clispeth, Charles. Clispeth? God. You think I can believe in that shit now? After all that's happened, you think I can just pray to Clispeth and everything will be okay? It's just changed too much. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go now. Barkley. Barkery. What? Don't do anything rash. Does it give me control back? No, not yet. Yeah, Larry. Yeah. And what are we... What else? There's a door. Okay, can't do anything with the door. What about this? Can we go around here? Kind of. What's that weird thing in the ceiling? Like a... Up to the right. Don't know. A banner or something. <coughs> Sorry, Manny. Damn bird thinks he's making a difference. Shit's never gonna be the same around here. Oh, that was weird. 
that tree ain't ever gonna be green again. Kids going to the b-ball court ever ain't ever gonna happen. Oh, this is before the cyber apocalypse. And chin shop ain't ever gonna be like it used to either. Shit's never gonna be like it was. Yep. Well, I'm starting to see things. I better get home and catch some Z's. All right. Let's uh let's set up the save point just because um yeah, okay. Neo New York. Apartment foyer. Why does it look different? Take care of yourself, book. Take care of yourself. I can't talk. Barkley. The post cyber apocalypse won't do it for you. Is Hoops gonna be kidnapped? God damn, I'm tired. Yes, yeah, so like the. I don't remember what the full title of this is. Like Tales of Games. Uh, something something pre presents. Char Barkley, shut up and gam jam Gaiden, chapter one, the hoops, Barkley saga or something like that. I think that's what it is. I don't know. God damn, I'm tired. Where is hoops? Hoops must already be in bed. Let's see what's on TV. The ultimate hellbane has struck again. This time at the Eastern Motors Car Company, slaying three men once again with the zobbers. That's it. Hoops and I are getting the hell out of here. This place has gotten too dangerous. Ugh, I'm I'm getting tired. Zzz. Oh, oh my God! Man, Manhattan has just been completely destroyed. Ten million people are expected to be dead, with estimates ranging up to fifteen million. Dear God, this is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm I'm sorry, folks, but I just wasn't prepared for this. Details are extremely limited right now, but the damage was believed to have been caused by a chaos dunk. Yes, yes, it's just been confirmed that the destruction was caused by a chaos dunk, meaning that Charles Barkley is the perpetrator, Barkley being the only human alive capable of performing a chaos dunk. It, it doesn't matter if you believe in Krishna, Muhammad, or Clispeth. Now is the time to pray, Neo New York. There he is. Get him. Ah, so Jordan set him up. Is that what happened? Because, I don't know, presumably Jordan. Now I now I need to look up the 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 plot of Space Jam. Charles Barkley, you are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk that killed 15 million people and associating with Blood Moses. Give yourself up, or we'll be forced to terminate you. What? What? What's going on, Jordan? Why are you here? Where's Hoops? What's happening? You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk. Surrender yourself, or face the consequences. What? I didn't do a chaos dunk. Jordan, you damn know damn well I swore to never to perform another chaos dunk 12 years ago. 12 years is a long time. Long enough time to change your mind. Men, arrest him. I, I didn't do it, Jordan. This is a mistake. I don't know anything about Blood Moses. You're a sick, sick little man, Barkley. I gave you time to get over Marine and B-Ball, but I guess that just wasn't enough. I mean, you've got a kid, Barkley. I thought you'd grown up. Execute this bastard. You son of a bitch, Jordan. Uh, which one's action? Okay. Am I dead? <laughs> Kurt Cobain. Okay. Your carelessness... I didn't realize there's... Okay, so... Cancel is X... Your carelessness led to you being knocked out. Jordan captured you, and consequently, you were executed. Retry, yeah or nah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we got it. We got it there. Uh, 
Wow. God damn it. Give yourself up, Barkley. No way in hell. Ah. Uh, okay, so we gave it a shekel to the kid. Huh, the damn kid stole my vintage Goya cannon mark two. After him. This is the end of the line, Barkley. You've got no choice but to surrender and tell us what you know about Blood Moses. Barkley, this is your last chance to surrender and tell us everything you know about Blood Moses. Think of your son. Oops, you wouldn't dare hurt him, Jordan. You goddamn coward, you wouldn't dare hurt him. Surrender, and it won't come to that. Okay, okay, I'll give myself. Don't do it, Charles! What? Barkley, this way! Damn it, Barkley, you've gotten away this time. But you're a wanted man now. There won't be a next time. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Where is Hoops? I... I do not think I can fully explain what is happening. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone who can make some sense of this to you. No, you're gonna tell me what the hell is happening right now, or I'm gonna... I... I'm gonna do something I'll regret. I will tell you this much, Barkley. No matter what happens, I am on your side. That doesn't mean anything to me. I have no idea who you are. For all I know, you could be the ultimate Hellbane. I am the ultimate Hellbane. What? What the hell? What the hell is going on? I don't know nothing about no Blood Moses, and I sure as hell don't want nothing to do with it. What the hell is this? Okay, is that, uh... Uh, what's his name? LeBron James Jr. Barkley, the men I killed, I... I'm not a murderer. They were agents of Blood Moses. I'm not a terrorist, and I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm here to help you, because... Because I know you're innocent, and I believe the same people that wronged me so long ago are the ones that are trying to hurt you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to believe you now just because you think I'm innocent? Hell no, you're a murderer, and I don't want nothing to do with this shit. Charles, please, you... You need to believe me. Just before Jordan came for you, I... I took Hoops somewhere safe. Somewhere Jordan and Blood Moses can't get him. Hoops is safe? He's at the church, Barkley, with Bird. They can't get him there. I'll... I'll listen. I'm here to help you, Barkley. I can't tell you who I am right now, but I know that you didn't do it. I know you've got to be a little confused, and there's a, there are a lot of questions you want answered. There's someone I think you should meet that can help you, Barkley. You made enemies tonight, and you're going to need all the help you can get. Please, Barkley, believe me. I I don't understand what's going on at all, but if, if you can help me, I'll take any help I can get. We're going to need to move fast. There's no doubt in my mind that both Jordan and Blood Moses are looking for us. We'll need to make haste. Wait, where are we? These are the B-Ball Catacombs, the final resting place of some of history's greatest ballers. It's... It's an ancient site, but it's been used up until the... Purge. We should make haste. Yes, let's get going. One more thing. I have some Battler's Tomes you might want to read before venturing forward. You can check them out in your item pouch. Alright. It has come to my attention that in certain circles, simian-minded individuals are referring to vidcons as vidcons, ignoring ignorantly placing a space between vid and con. Perhaps their brains have dulled by years of Madden and Quake rather than mentally invigorating games such as Arc Lat and Grow Lancer. Because even a child could tell that placing a space between the vid and con in VidCon is perhaps more profoundly Philistine than a certain American administration that need not be named. Placing a space in VidCon completely belittles the meaning of the word and displays the use of blatantly minuscule intellect and misunderstanding of the basic precepts of grammar. Ooh. VidCon is a perfect marriage of the words console and video game, creating a short and effective portmanteau that quickly and accurately labels mentioned objects and absolutely anybody who does not immediately recognize VidCon as absolutely outrageous, clearly lacking the mental faculties to correctly operate a VidCon other than perhaps FIFA Sports. I make this point because I've recently been belligerently barraged by imbecilic VidCon references that unnerve me to no end, 
and have taken upon myself to correct the damage that your poor Western education, though this is a subject to be discussed at all in a later date, has wrought upon you. You should personally thank me that I did not see to fit correct your... Holy poop. <clears throat> I need a drink. Hang on. Hmm. It's a ginger soda. I like the pump. Very, uh... This is like, this is like some directly, like directly for some, uh, like a forum post somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Uh, did not see it to correct your preponderous mistake in Japanese because I'm thoroughly positive your Neanderthal mind would be incapable of deciphering the hiragana from the katakana. Um... Okay. All right, let us stop here for now. Battle Tome 1, 2, and 3. We'll read those next time, uh, because presumably we're gonna start getting into random battles. This is an RPG, apparently. So, now we know. Um, but that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video, enjoying the playthrough. Um, if you're new to my channel, what I like to do at the end of every episode is a unique positive moment. Basically, if you want to increase your own happiness, you're supposed to do three per day. Before you go to bed, you're supposed to write them down. But at the end of the video, I like to do just one. That way, <clears throat> excuse me, that way it help, helps, helps keep improving your perspective because there's so much negativity out in the world, especially like now uh, that you need to focus on the positive and it actually trains your mind to be a little bit more neutral and not just seeing negativity all the time so what is your guys unique positive moment for today for me it's actually this ginger it's a spicy ginger brew or a ginger spicy brew uh, I don't know some kind of craft soda basically but it's it's good actually I like it a lot uh, that's my unique positive moment and uh, I hope your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. I also hope to see you guys next time. So until then, guys, take care.